Hey there, Trevor Duncan with Cell Seattle and CellSeattle.com. I appreciate you joining me on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a master reset on a Samsung Gravity Smart from T-Mobile. This is also known as the Samsung T589. This is a fairly basic Android touchscreen phone with a slide-out keyboard. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is unlock the screen by sliding our thumb across. And your phone may be set up a little bit differently if you've done some personalization. But the first thing is to go into the app tray down in the bottom right corner. And then listed alphabetically, you'll find this icon by my thumb, which says settings. Go ahead and touch that. And then you'll see a list of multiple options starting from the top. We're going to scroll down to about the middle where you see this little icon that looks like a fence and it says privacy. Go ahead and touch that. Then you'll see an option on your screen here next to back up my data. Now if you have a memory card in the phone or you have anything that you need to save such as contacts, text messages, photos, you'll first want to back those up and you can do that using your Gmail account. You can plug it via USB into your computer and save the files that way or you can simply save them over to your memory card. In this case there is no memory card in the phone and I do want to wipe all the data so I'm going to uncheck that box. And it will remind us here that deleting all backed up data will also um, stop the backup of settings and applications. That's good. We're trying to wipe the phone of all history. Now here next to my thumb at the bottom you'll see factory data reset. It advises that this erases all data on the phone. We're going to touch that. And this just reminds us this will erase all data from the Google account, system and app data, downloaded applications. It will not, however, erase current system software or any files on your SD card. So I have removed the SD card from this phone. Let's go ahead and proceed. We're just going to touch this button right here that says Reset Phone. Touch that. We get one final reminder reminding us that this is irreversible. Touch that button again. We should now see the phone shut down. It's going to reboot. In some cases, this can take a few moments, so you're welcome to stop watching the video now. But what will basically happen is it's going to reboot back up to the startup screen, and we should see the option to log into Google using a Gmail account. That's how we'll know that the phone is fully reset and ready for a new user. So while we wait, let's talk about a couple reasons you might want to do this kind of reset. Maybe you're done with the phone, you're getting ready to gift it, sell it, or donate it to a friend, relative, or a service like ours at sellseattle.com. That would be when you want to go ahead and erase all your personal data. That protects your phone numbers, your email, your previous text messages. We just don't want those getting into the wrong hands. So if you haven't already, please do visit my site, sellseattle.com. That's C-E-L-L, -L, Seattle, all one word. And there we purchase gently used phones, smartphones, tablets, iPhones, iPods, and... Um, the site is a work in progress, so any feedback would be appreciated. But um, that's basically what we do. Now it looks like the phone is just about fully restored here. Appreciate you staying with us if you have so far. Just to let you know, cell phones do have a lot of toxic elements in them. Anything from... Uh, arsenic, lead, mercury, antimony, lots of nasty stuff that if thrown in the garbage can leak into landfills and basically toxify our drinking water and the surrounding areas. So if you have a broken phone, please do not throw it in the garbage. Please drop it off at a local uh, cell phone store where they can recycle it or consider sending it into a service like ours. We have customers all over the United States. Well, we're about five minutes in. The phone is still processing the reboot. Um, I do just want to, you know, stay here so you can see what the screen looks like when it's been successful. 
I'd love for you to leave a comment if you found this video helpful, maybe just a thumbs up. I do enjoy interacting with my fans on YouTube, so any correspondence is appreciated. Here we go. We now have a confirmation that the phone is reset because it is prompting us to basically start all over again and log into Gmail. So that's the process to master reset a Samsung Gravity Smart Android smartphone from T-Mobile. I thank you very much for joining me on my YouTube channel. This is Trevor Duncan, and I hope you have a great day.